so before we start adding the shoelaces i missed out one uh shoeless hole right here so let's add that real quick Okay, so save. Now that we've done that, let's go to the top view. And let's just move. So we'll start with this one here. Uh, Shift A on the keyboard, new mesh plane. And then let's move this plane right here. And let's go into edit mode. So oops, uh, while we are still in object mode, we can just uh, shrink this. So maybe up to that. Okay. And then going to edit mode. Let's turn on the x-ray. Let's just drag this. Let's move this in. And the other side also. Let's move it in. And before we go too far, let's go to the side view. Select all. Push A on the keyboard. And then let's just move them to the top. Oops, yeah, undo. Let's move <coughs> in the side view, move out of edit mode, and then let's move them up to here. That's okay. And now I want us to add so add a sub uh, division surface, turn it up to three, and also add a solidify. So this one will be on top and let's make it up to, that's, that's a bit too much, 4 is okay. So let's just move close. So let's go in edit mode. If I select all this and then let me just move it on the pivot to be in between. Alright, so it's right on top there so the idea now is while in edit mode you select one end and then you push extender and then just drag it so let's see how far we've moved Oops, let's go to the side side view select this let's just move it down here and if I go to this direction and extend it one more time, then just drag it in. So notice what we get here. And then we can do the same thing even this side. And extend uh, oops, one more time. Oops, I don't want to use that. Okay, let's go to the top view. And let's see where this was actually going to. Okay, so I want this to be passing right here. Let's see the other side. Okay. And so the reason why I wasn't being very uh, careful with this is because now I can actually go through. So I can make a cut here and i can just move it up and i select this one let's move it down same thing select this one here and let's just move it down and you can make another cut say there and another one this side right there and you can move these so that it looks like it was just passing on top Alright, so if I move out of edit mode and I select this and smooth shade, let's see what we have. Okay, so now here we need to also, let's move this one here, let's move it out. And we can also shrink this on this part because it's where it's 
going into the shoe hole so i'll put it there i can also make another cut here let's just pull it out and we can move it up a bit let's move this like that okay let's see this side so here i'll add a cut right here and shrink it and now let's position it okay this one oops so edge mode and select this edge let's just push it in select this edge pull it out and up on this side so there's a lot of tweaking uh, going on just to get these right okay so it looks a little bit too thin so you can actually change the value here and put like six just to make it thicker okay I think that looks okay for me and so I'll get the same one so make sure in edit mode just push A to select all and then duplicate this so let's go to the top view It'll be much easier to move and duplicate this then just move it here and now what we're going to do is try to fit the same one right here so that's close already looks like this side it's fitting in well and we just need to fit in this side so we'll do this for the rest of the other parts okay so looking at our reference image uh, the design of the shoelaces is a bit different and 
we've also done something different so just to make it to spice it up a little bit i've thought maybe we should add one that actually goes through from this side going there and there and there like that so so that it looks a bit more interesting so let's do that so what we are going to do is the same thing we're just going to get uh the same one so let me go to the top view i'm going to edit mode x-ray and then we select this so let me just push the dot on the number on the number pad duplicate this and let's bring it here so what i want to do right now is rotate this and now let's just position it so the idea is to make it look as if it was moving it's moving from this end to uh, the other from this end to this end so now let's see first how that looks like okay so now there's going to be a lot of tweaking Alright, so if I move out of edit mode, this is what we are aiming for. So we are going to do this all the way to the top. So the way I'm selecting here, I'm selecting one face and then hold down control and the plus on your number pad to expand your selection. So this is the final result that we have and I think I'm happy with the result. This looks good. So in the next video we'll be adding the cotton around the stitches or around the shoe. So catch me in the next video.